I'm Shirley, and today I'm at the home of Yen Yen Wu and um, Colin Go, who are the creators of Dim Sum Warriors. This is a um, comic book series. They're actually originally from Singapore, but uh, they had spent the last uh, 20 years in New York, and they've been here in Taiwan for two years. By <laughs> happy accident, I happy think. Happy accident, yeah. So we uh, we arrived in Taiwan because I was invited by Zhongyang Dashi, National Central University, to be a visiting professor. Actually, Colin, you are a lawyer. Yeah. Then now you're doing comics. <laughs> well, yeah. I think for most middle class families, the path is always in all the shoes, right? To be a teacher, to be a lawyer, to be an accountant, um, doctor. But we both went to Columbia University. I got my master's in law and she went for her uh, doctorate in education. The arts, you could make a living. You don't have to be one thing. You can be many things. So that's how we stumbled into filmmaking. We didn't go to film school. We really love Singapore English um, <laughs> and we enjoy it so much. Uh, so it's, it's usually very funny. It's, yeah, it's a funny mix of languages. Mm -hmm. uh, and when our friends get together, we kind of like break into Singlish. So we're like, hey, we should, somebody should document this. So mm -hmm. that book, that series is for ages 7 to 12, published by Scholastic. And mm -hmm. then we have another Another series which is called The Little Dim Sum Warriors. Yeah. So this is bilingual. So it's English on one side and you flip over and it's Chinese. We just want to make sure that kids grow up you know, globally competent, not just like learning languages for tests, but really having fun with languages, being able to express boldly and creatively. So that's when we came up with the Little Dim Sum Warriors series. We thought, you know, we want something silly to say because that's what kids want, right? So can you tell us just exactly what kind of content <laughs> is in the comic? Like, you know, okay, give an so example. It's Kung Fu fighting dumplings, basically. Right. So the three key characters are roast pork bun, cha okay. cha bao, bao. That's a shrimp uh, shrimp dumpling, which is a xia jiao, yeah, right. and pork and shrimp dumpling, which is a shao mai. Yeah, so we realized that kids really enjoy the silliness of these three key characters, um, and then they uh, so the message is really you know 做什么事情都要一点心 so use your heart with everything that you do because dim sum means a little bit of heart. The graphic novel series came first. Um, after that, what happened was it got adapted into a stage musical yeah. in Shanghai yeah. by, by Lai Shengchuan. Right, who's Stanley right, who Stan Lai, who's yeah. a pretty popular um, stage director, stage musical film director yeah. from Taiwan, from actually. Taiwan. What he did, and that was in 2017, we premiered the uh, the musical version in Shanghai. Uh, so in 2018, crazy. the show managed to tour 25 cities in, in, China. in, China. in China. Don't you think that food is an international language? I think, I think so. so. I feel like in food, there are actually no enemies, and which is why we love working with food and sending our message of kind of, you know, global peace through food. The research has showed several things are very good for language learning. Uh, so for example, comics are fantastic for language learning. So the research has shown that. And the reason is because one, kids love comics, right? So they love to read it. Two, it's actually called multimodal learning, multimodalities. Um, and the reason is because comics, even if you, you can talk about very deep topics by looking at the graphics. So the learning is scaffolded and supported by graphics, by sound effects and so on. Comics have also developed quite a lot in the past 30 years. Oh. Uh, it used to be seen as a children's thing, but actually now, as we, as we know, in, in the US, in Europe, uh, in Japan, it's as many adults read it as, uh, as kids. So one is comics, two is actually um, uh, the research in applied linguistics has also talked about translanguaging. So what it means is using the home language to build uh, hooks and a map for the target language. So if you read a story, in your home language, you have a map for the meaning. So when you read, read it in the target language, you don't feel lost and you can focus on learning the language. Okay. 
It's like when you're navigating, you have a map for where you're going to make curriculum relevant to the students' lives. Mm -hmm. So last semester, for example, I taught a, a lab class in Muta Guoxiao, so our neighborhood school, uh -huh. uh, in English. So I used the Dim Sum Warriors curriculum to teach them. So one of the things I did was I asked them, what are your favorite foods? Can you tell me in English? So they talked about pizza, yeah. uh, fries, uh, and hamburgers, okay. right? So so I said, don't you like uh, lu rou fan, like braised pork rice? Don't you like bubble tea, pop out? They said, we love them. So I said, but do you use English to talk about them? No, they don't, right? They don't. So w when we think about learning a foreign language in the context of Taiwan, such as English, what you want to do, what we want kids to do is to be able to talk about their own worlds to mm. other people. But how do we get kids to express themselves and what they know rather than learning like other people's other, knowledge, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Kids love comics. I mean, it's as simple as that. And you, if you, parents in Taiwan have a hard time getting their kids to read books in English. Yes. I think <laughs> start, comic, start, words, start no, with no English comic books. That's a fantastic start. Kids end up wanting to make them. Paper. And, and paper. Mm -hmm. And they can make their own comics. So it really kind of triggers um, triggers creativity. So we run a monthly uh, in, uh, Facebook uh, social media event called mm. uh, Food with Feelings where we draw with kids. Well, he draws with kids and I just like talk nonsense. And the kids put in a lot of effort. We can't see them, but after that, they'll post their pictures. So they're sitting there drawing with so we'll say, you know, food with feelings, let's have an angry apple. What does an angry apple look like? <laughs> so once kids kind of start creating, um, that's when they get hooked onto creating. And it really triggers them wanting to, to create more. It's so important to experience everything that you have as a tool for creation. Do you two believe that we were, all of us humans were born with an artistic mind or that we're born to be able to create. And recently interviewed people who pretty much say the same thing. We're all born to, we do have creativity in, in us, inborn in us. Do you believe that? I believe that everybody has a strong desire to express who we are. Okay. And that expression often comes in the form of drawings, in the form of music. It could be in food. In the form of stories, <laughs> in the form be. of making food. So those, the creative impulse comes from the expressive impulse, right? This is who I am and you want to document your life. I mean, that's why we create stories um, because we feel like our stories are stories that other people haven't done um, and we need to document that part of our lives to to it's it's like a, a desire for for longevity right uh -huh. so I, I want to I want to leave this in a world so that every you know other people know that we I have, existed from, I this, existed period of from time. this period of time a lot of it to do is to do with in some ways perseverance Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. You can have a lot of talent, but if you decide to give it up, it's no use. It's, it's about yeah. wanting it badly enough to continue doing whatever it is that makes because you special. Yeah. Yes. yes. But Unfortunately, if the world is taken over by artificial intelligence, the only thing that can make us survive, help us survive, is human intelligence. And what does that mean? It means creativity. Okay. It's the only thing that will make us differentiate ourselves from machines that will help us retain our jobs in the future is creativity. So I think the sooner we really kind of focus on how do we get kids to be creative and express themselves and be able to be flexible in their thinking and take risks, the sooner we prepare them for the future. Mm -hmm. So the whole education uh, learning system that we developed for Dim Sum Warriors has been certified by um, Education Alliance Finland. So they certify uh, products for educational quality, for uh, pedagogical quality. So we've been certified and um, so it's ready to go. Yeah. There's a certain, uh, in the research you call it foreign language anxiety because there's a fear of being wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fear of being wrong and then feeling like I'm never good enough, not, never as good as the native. Right. So before you speak it, you're like processing, am I right? Am I going to be wrong? And by the time you miss the moment, right, to speak. Um, and then so that comes across as being quiet. <laughs> that young parents like you guys, <laughs> you know, um, thinking ahead and thinking out of the box, mm. I think that is a very different kind of perspective to have about 
education itself, you know? Key thing really, I feel that, that we don't get told enough uh, and we don't uh, focus enough is actually free time for kids. In the end, I really feel that free time is extremely productive for kids. Playtime is extremely productive and we need to have the free time in order to develop our ideas. Um, for our daughter, for example, we actually protect her free time quite seriously. Mm. We even go to the extent of telling her teachers that she's only allowed an hour of homework a day. People are so many things. You can be a professor who is an opera singer. You can be a tennis coach who's also a psychologist. You can be many, many things. And life nowadays will take you in many different directions. And we need to be open to that because that's what makes life worth living, right? If, if you're going, the jobs of today will not be the jobs of tomorrow. <laughs> We need to be flexible. And how do we become flexible? We need to be creative. Mm. So yeah, never think of it. Don't regret whatever it is you're doing. It will become useful in some form, but we need to think just wider, be, be open. My, my daughter was born, I remember writing in my di diary that uh, after she was born, I said, you know, I want to, a message to her. Yeah. And the message was, um, um, I want you to to know that your 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 mother never gave up on her dreams. Mm. Like you know, that's the the path that we've yeah. chosen. Yeah, Taiwan, Taiwan has a lot of talent. Talent, yeah. And yeah. you know, that's that's what we really look forward to. Uh, you know, we look forward to getting to know more talented Taiwanese people and start working on projects together, okay. I think. We want everybody to, to know Dim Sum Warriors, to be able to see, uh, use Dim Sum Warriors for language learning, for, for thinking about uh, a better world where, where all foods are, um, are friends with each other. <laughs> yeah, we just want to create something that makes, gives kids joy. Right. and learning right. at the same time. Yeah. That, that, that really is the ultimate aim. How that manifests itself, you know, we are, we are agnostic. It could be in toys next time. I, I don't know, but we just want to, to give kids a little bit of joy and learn something along the way. Thank you, Thank you so very much for sharing your joy so and your creativity and just wonderful ideas, you know, with, with me, but with, with my audience too. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. Thank for you for having you us. All right. I don't know. Why? It's pretty cool. It's an iPad app with all these cool features to help you learn both Chinese and English, instant translations, Hanyu Pinyin pronunciation guides, audio voiceovers. Yeah, I guess. And the story is great. There's kung fu action, drama, comedy, and it's about dim sum. Dim sum! What's not to like? I, you know, I, I love being a dim sum, but it's it's just not realistic. What do you mean? Are, are you a dim sum? Yeah. Do you have hands? No. And, and what about legs? No. Okay. Um, when, remind me, when was the last time you fought Kung Fu? How would I fight Kung Fu without hands and... Oh...